Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungo and we are Fun and, and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and first of all I want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing guys are super amazing. Thank you so much and um, also for the guys who have been giving us uh, you know suggestions on what to react to you guys are also super super amazing and thank you so much make sure you get us to 20,000 subscribers and we will I mean we, we'll just be be happy to get into 20s or something like that so that we come out from the 19s <laughs> I don't know so without any further ado today we're going to react to white sister found prophet Muhammad name in the Bible emotional it's by Dr. Zaki Knight so without any further ado let's get it mics we have a non-muslim okay go ahead sister Salam alaikum. I'd like to ask if you could shed some light on a verse in the Bible. It's the Old Testament, Solomon chapter 5, verse 16. It's the Hebrew text. Hiko mamitikim, wikulo Muhammadim, zidude wazara'i. Baine Jerusalem. I know that in English, Muhammadim has been translated to altogether lovely. What I'd like to ask is why do Christians not know that Muhammad has been spoken about in the Bible? For the sisters asked the question, she's given the Hebrew of the verse of the Bible from Song of Solomon, chapter number five, verse number sixteen, which says, "Hikum amitakim vikulli Muhammadim zaidudi zairai baina Jerusalem," which means, sister only translated one word. It means he's most sweet, he's altogether lovely, he's my beloved, he's my friend. O daughters of Jerusalem, this is the complete translation of the Hebrew verse. She quoted, and when it says "Hikumamitakim vikulli Muhammadim," Muhammadim in the Semitic languages, when you give respect, you add "im" to it. Like Allah is for God, Elohim is respect for God. So same thing to the name Muhammad, sallallahu They add "im," and it means it says Muhammadim. So if you read the original text the name of muhammad peace be upon him is even mentioned in the bible sister is asking then why don't the christians believe in prophet muhammad peace be upon him sister you should ask this question to the christians i asked this question to hundreds of christians alhamdulillah some of them accepted islam most of them did not so i agree with you that the name of prophet muhammad peace be upon him is mentioned in the scriptures of most of the major world religions including bible and as i mentioned earlier that not only is he mentioned by name he is even prophesied in various different parts of the bible he is prophesied in the book of deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 18 in the book of deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 19 in the book of isaiah chapter number 29 verse number 12 in song of solomon chapter 5 verse 16 he is also prophesied in the new testament in the gospel of john chapter 14 verse number 16 gospel of john chapter number 15 verse 26 gospel of john chapter 16 verse number 7 gospel of john chapter number 16 verse number 12 to 14 in several places sister so that's what i asked to the christian if it's clearly mentioned about the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him then why don't they believe in him those christians who really study and analyze and do research alhamdulillah they accept islam the others who do not want to accept the truth and say oh i have been a christian for 40 years now you want me to change my religion so they are afraid many a time the ego comes in between many a time the society comes in between many a time what will my friends tell me what would my customers tell me so these things prevent them from accepting the beauty of islam what they fail to realize they wouldn't mind offending their creator just to please their family and their friends pleasing our creator is more important than pleasing your family and friends 
So those who realize the importance of Creator, importance of Almighty God, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. Sister, I would like to ask you that are you a Christian or are you a Muslim? I've been studying Islam for about six months. MashaAllah. So do you believe now that there is one God? I do. Do you believe Jesus is God? Peace be upon him. No, I don't. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah. So if you believe there's one God, you believe Prophet Muhammad, messenger of God, and according to me, you are six months of research. Yes. <laughs> Your six months of research have brought you to the truth, sister. Pardon, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Those are tears of joy. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> when a person realizes the truth, that's what even Quran says that when people hear the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the moment the believer, tears roll from their eyes. So these are tears of happiness and joy that you have found the truth as Jesus Christ peace be upon him said in the gospel of John seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you so I believe the truth has freed you today sister your six months of research has brought you to the truth sister would you like to accept Islam <laughs> sister would you like to accept Islam yes is anyone forcing you absolutely not you are doing out of your own free will yes Inshallah, say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God. That there is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. That is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And the servant of Allah. Servant. servant of Allah. MashaAllah, sister, you are a Muslim. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as He has guided you, may Allah make you a source to guide the other non Muslims towards Islam. And I pray to Allah to grant you the best in this world and the Akhirah and to grant you Jannah paradise, inshallah. Um, first of all, this was so emotional when it was um, when he, when he was uh, actually con converting or something. But he didn't mention that he was Christian or something. But anyway, um, she said she's been studying. Yeah, she's been studying for the last six months, so maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. Maybe she was an agnostic or something. Um, I mean, um. Maybe not so many people know about it that maybe Muhammad was mentioned in the Bible. To be honest, also me, I didn't know much about that. But when I started like um, doing reactions, that's when I found out that um, like Muhammad is kind of mentioned in the Bible also. You understand? In some verses and chapters and books also. But um, I think... It's not far fetched when you when you when when you look at the Bible and the Quran. It's just, I mean, there's some things that have a lot of similarities in there. You understand? It's just maybe ways of how to, um, probably uh, how it's been not used, but how it's been um, looked into. You understand? I mean, perspectives. People have different perspective 
towards different religions and whatnot. But most of the, many religions tend to go into the same direction, do you understand? But using, I mean... Different points of view. Yes, you know, um, which is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I did ask you, have you ever wondered maybe the chapters or books that were removed from the Bible maybe could have contained something yeah. about Muhammad? Have you of ever thought of it like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I've thought about not only Muhammad, like so so much. I mean, things that are the secrets of lots of things. I mean, uh, I mean, because to be honest, to some point when you look at the Bible, it's I wouldn't say it's uh, it's incomplete, but I feel like why wouldn't the Bible just give us what is supposed to be given? You know, like. Why is it that the Catholics have, is it, um, the own version? Yeah, there's like 70 something books, and then uh, this other one is the King James has the 66 books in there. But why, you know? I don't know. I'm not right when it comes to those numbers. Maybe I've, um, I've made a mistake there, so don't hold me accountable. Um, I, I don't know why, why is it even like that? Why did they remove the book of Enoch? There's, uh, there's a lot of books in there that they got removed, you understand? So that gives a lot of questions, and you tend to question a lot of things about why. I mean, but still, what you just say, it could be. It could be like those books that were removed were even talking more about Muhammad, or maybe talking more about um, other things that maybe they don't want us to know and understand. Because if we do understand such kind of things, we'll be able to be of, I mean, of having higher knowledge, you know. Because uh, some of these priests or whatever people who are sitting in those bigger thrones, they have higher knowledge. And how did they get them from? It's through maybe reading lots of books and maybe books that were not in the Bible and using those to actually um, control the society, you know. Another quick question. Um, for those, be it Christians, Jews, whatever the case is, that know that, no, focus on Christians, that know that Muhammad has been mentioned in the Bible mm. and still just brush it aside, what would you think or what do you think of them? I think it's just a level of ignorance because um, if you brush off something, that means you don't want it to be there in the first place. You know, if you, you you don't want to talk about it. It does not stand in your way, or it does not exist, or it creates some enmity. Or but do you think there's yeah. actually people that know? Okay, yeah, this makes sense. That okay, this word means Muhammad. That I'm reading right here. Of course, it does. I think so. Of that course. people that have acknowledged that yes, it's in the Bible. I mean, I th I think so to be honest, because I don't know if people go to theology classes or so, what. I don't know what they're being taught in there, but maybe there's lots of things that they're being told how to, or maybe, um, I mean, all these people know. You understand? The, the, the people who stand in that pulpit, they go through all these books and. They tend to understand from A to Z, so why is it that they don't want to enlighten you? You understand? Because look, today if I say, okay, I'm a Christian and I accept that Muhammad was mentioned in the Bible, don't you think that will just um, now make us even unite more? And in the first place, all is needed is just that separation. You know, I mean, they needed Christianity and Islam so that. Um, people have separate beliefs so when you try to now say that Muhammad was in the in the Bible then this will be like ah so Muhammad was in the Bible ah so even Jesus was in in, in the Quran so why don't you unite why don't you be one people you know so I mean they had to make certain people think or maybe be ignorant enough you know, to accept it 
so that they create that separation. I mean, that's 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 a law of divide and rule. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to know, say. That's that's a law of divide and rule. So they played us. Yeah. So I think you said everything. Mm -hmm. We end. Yeah. If there's anything that you guys want us to to drop the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video and deuces <laughs>